This week's Torah portion of Parshat Vayera continues to describe the story of Avraham Avinu, Abraham, our forefather, and finding his relationship, his rapport with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with God above. This past week, we know that the ground troops continued to surge forward into Gaza. And I also want to share with you on a personal note, and a note that directly relates to this week's Parsha that I want to share with you. Our son Yaakov, who is on the border of Gaza, was involved in a gun battle last week. There were a number of terrorists prior to their entry, to the to Tzahal's entry to Gaza itself. There were a number of terrorists who tried to invade and tried to come into Israel again. And thank God, Yaakov's brigade were called out and they were able to destroy those terrorists and obstruct them from entering the land of Israel. But during that time, Yaakov and his five soldiers who were out there patrolling and trying to find the terrorists were involved in friendly fire. And it was quite precarious and quite dangerous. And Yaakov even described to me that he was quite scared. It happened to be that on that very same day that they were involved in this battle and Bar Hashem, they're all okay, I was sent up north to speak in three different bases. And I gave over shiurim and talks to chayalim to try and give them chizuk and strength and try and give them some inspiration to help their resilience. And I asked Yaakov, at what time was this particular friendly fire going on, which was so dangerous? And he said to me, it happened to be at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening. And I thought to myself, that's exactly the time that I was giving over a shiur, a talk, to a number of chayalim on a base up north. And then I thought to myself that while there's no question that the chayalim, our soldiers, have to be equipped and have to deal with munitions and combat and have to go through training, at the same time, I felt that I had a certain part, not to tout myself, but that I had, maybe I had a certain part in protecting our son. My ability to give over a shiur, a talk, to learn Torah with soldiers at the same time, perhaps that also protected him and his fellow comrades. And I thought to myself a very, very important point. It's something that we see in this week's Torah portion and something perhaps that we need to remember and embrace as we move on in these trial and troubling times. Avram Avinu makes an appeal to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this week's Parsha to save the people of Sodom. And when he does so, and when he makes this appeal, which seems to be, at first glance, quite chutzpahdik, quite chutzpah, which perhaps proves that Avram was Jewish, but Avram makes an appeal. And during this appeal, in which he says, maybe there's 50 tzaddikim, maybe there's 50 righteous people in the city, maybe there's 40, maybe there's 30, and so on and so forth, at one point, at the very beginning, the very onset, Avram proclaims, Va'anochi afar ve'efer. I am nothing more than a speck of dust in this earth compared to the glory, the greatness, and the divinity of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And so Avram understands his place in a sense of modesty, a sense of humility. And the Kutzke Rebbe says a tremendous thing. A Jew always has to equip himself with two things. On the one hand, he has to remind himself that Anochi Afar Ve'efer, I am nothing more than a speck of dust in this world comparatively to the greatness and wonders of the universe around me. On the other hand, he needs to remind himself, Bishvili, Nivraha Olam. I was created for a reason. The world was created in order to host me at some point during that creation. And therefore, I have something to offer and to contribute. And a very important part of my existence in this world will reveal itself through my humanity. On the one hand, the person has to be humble. On the other hand, a person has to be brazen and understand that he's here for a reason. Avram was able to equip himself with these two things. Anochi afar ve'efer is a proclamation of humility, but at the same time he appealed for humanity. That a Kaddish Baruch Hu, with all of his might, he prayed and he demanded and beseeched from Hashem, save the people of stone. Perhaps there's one tzaddik, one righteous person that's worth that salvation. This is the balance that we have to find in this world as well. The ability to be humble, to understand and know our place, but at the same time to know our place in a sense that we have what to contribute. We have what to offer. We're here in this world to act, to be proactive, and to pronounce, and certainly to further the betterment of this world around us. During this time of war, it's something that we need to embrace. We need to know that we have to support Chayalim soldiers, we have to fight, we have to engage in combat, 
We have to have the proper armament, no question about it. But at the same time, we have to also embrace and understand our humility. In the end of the day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is above us, God is above us. Prayer, Tehillim, reflection, learning is a very essential part of who we are as well. These two components, hand in hand, will hopefully bring us to victory. In Mirz Hashem, Am Yisrael Yinatzchu, we will proclaim victory at some point. Am Yisrael Chai. And so this is the Jewish way, it is the Torah way, and it always will remain the Gila way. May we all be blessed to have Shalom Al Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom.